Welcome everybody back to Faraway's story. Okay, so our objective, I think I should just finish all those classes. Oh, this reminds me of my high school. Well, let's just go from top to bottom. We will type some features. You say, do you have a favorite weapon or anything? Sword, of course. Nope, because I never fought much at all. I see, which means it would make any difference whatever you use. That's me. Maybe that was poor phrasing, but I mean is you can handle any weapon. Generally the characters have weapons they're good and bad at, and they can only equip the power. By the way, this game doesn't give me any choice and that's kinda bad. But you can equip any type of weapon you are all my team. I see, thinking of that way, it sounds kind of impressive, right? As you can try whatever you want, I will explain the types of weapons and the differences and then you can tell me which one you would like to try. Whichever you pick, I'll give you a free starting weapon. Sounds good. First of all, there are six types of weapons. Sword, grid, sword, spear, bow, staff, and book. <laughs> book? <laughs> Do you just stamp people with book? Like this? Book? Books are weapon too, yes. I know where to find part with books. Are you sure it wasn't just one weird guy? Continuing on, I'll explain the characteristics one by one. First the sword. This could be considered your most basic weapon. They're easy without any peculiarities. A good one to start with. I see them most often. I would like to call them pretty standard and reliable weapon. So next is grid sword. Grid swords are stronger than swords and have wider range. They're stronger than swords? No, they have also have disadvantage. They're heavy so they swing slower, also they must be carried with two hands, so you can't equip anything else in your hand slot. Sounds hard to just start using. Yet just holding them can be exhausting. Okay, next is spears. Spears have longer reach than other weapons, since they go so long range, it's easier to land hits. Spears do seem pretty simple. Yes, but be careful, spears have fewer combo hits than other weapon types, which their attacks power doesn't entirely make up for. So there is a problem with using them too, but the distance must be still behind you. If it's attacking from distance you want, there's a better weapon for that, and that's the ball. They are very handy, capable of attacking from further than spears. They have just as many combo hits as other weapons do too. That doesn't sound right. However, they are too handy weapons, and arrows can only hit one target, which would be bad for lots of enemies, exactly. And oh, and in addition to attack damage, they have the bonus of adding to your DEX, I don't know what that is. That can be effective when you are dealing with high day aggro foes. Next up is Staffs. This is extremely low attack power but instead boosts your magic. Precisely. If you are fighting primarily with magic then this is a clear choice. Maybe Staffs are nice if you can use magic. Though I've got a ways to go. And last is book. Boy, these are these ones are tricky. Compared to staffs, they have even worse stack damage and not as much magic power either, and their attack range is tiny. But many books come with their own unique abilities. This features differ widely depending on the book, so I can really catch some of them up. They are often they're quite powerful in the right conditions, so they are like the scrolls. If you are able to effectively use them, they can be pretty good weapons. In a, in a war, they are a weapon for professionals. That's all about explanation. Have you decided what you want? Um, I'm really not sure. Come on, give me the choice. This is video game, isn't it? It's just a visual novel. You can use any type, so your choice here won't be set for life. So pick, just pick up. Oh, yes, thank you. Sorry for everything I said. Oh, this one person would be super easy to use. Great sword. So, cool. I'm gonna choose this sword. I probably shield. Shield would be really awesome, but. Oh, never mind. Okay. Ten elements? Are you kidding me? Did you know that there are ten elements in all? Ten? Wait, what are elements anyways? What do you even what do I even say to that? I to think you're this hopeless. Give me a bit. Clearly, it's not easy if you just leave your life making medicine. I'll start from the top. Elements are property of objects. The study of magic recalibrates natural, natural energy into these elements. A spell that creates fire, for instance, would be classified as fire elements, and 
it's built to create ice, it's classified as ice, simple as that. So it's nothing complicated, this is no one who had no idea. Don't say that. And there are various other elements as you can see here, can and public. Okay, that's a lot. Here's a key part, people and monsters also have elements assigned to them. This is one and the same with your innate element as I taught you. For instance, you seem to be water element. You mean I'm made of water? <laughs> of course not. I see. But also, even the common mall walking above has an earth element, for instance. And one more thing, these elements have a relationship with one another. In this diagram, the elements across from each other, fire and ice, for instance, have a relationship where they do additional damage. If a fire is bit much spin is used on ice, then the most of the damage will be greater. I think that would be opposite. Because the fire would melt the ice, yes, but the opposite is also true. An ice feels against like fire monster with to increase damage as the ice will put up the fire. The remaining elements have the opposing relationship as well. Which means according to this, I would take lots of damage from thunder magic. That's right, so be wary of thunder spells. However, you have resistance against the water and the water spells wouldn't hurt you quite so much. And the same thing applies to the enemies. To fight and effectively, you should pay the key to the elements. Your analyze skill will come in handy as it will show you foes in every minutes. All these relationships seem that they are hard to remember. Let's say, have you seen stats this game? There should be a graph like this thing. Okay, was there? How about you first remember the six main elements? The other the ones which are the across from each other have the opposing relationship. You can often start with mini anytime, so it would it should prove prove pro useful if you for good. <laughs> okay, I will do more best. For now, that's it for elements. It's something of a deep subject, so I will teach you some more tidbits later. Elements added to there as well. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just gonna count this episode like school or something. Mm. Thank you. Doing dungeons. Well, let's begin the missions. Where are we? Where did, when did we get there? Oh, this dungeon? Well, I imagine you've been in some dungeons like this, correct? Oh yeah, I've got to gather ingredients. Yes, you will need to enter dungeons in order to do that. However, many unseen dangers lurk in those dungeons. Levers you want to pull, the switches you would love to press, activating this could make items appear or have another such beneficial effect. However, some of these devices can be trapped. But there is no way of knowing that what will happen. That is what makes you want to activate them, and that is what makes it truly really unpleasant. These dangerous devices present you with this dilemma, but if you activate them carelessly, you will be in serious trouble. So this time I thought I would have you get a taste of the various effects they have. And so I prepared this dungeon. Our dungeon something you prepared? Piece of cake for me. This is just absurd. So here's a mission, make it to the back of this dungeon. What should I do if I find traps? To be honest, given you don't know what will happen, it's up to you to activate them or not. If you want to be smart about it, consider your remaining HP and cost and Activate them if you can afford to. Bad things don't happen every time, you can always just stubbornly go for them. And this particular trial is meant for you to experience these traps. So maybe you should activate them to see. So I'm just free to do whatever. In addition, I placed two claim tickets A and B somewhere in the dungeons. If you pick them up, I'll trade them for some additional rewards at the missions end. Mwahaha, <laughs> but you may have to activate traps to get them. I'm kind of curious now. And one last important warning, listen to this. I am mixed in a single trap which is far more heinous than the rest. If you step on it, something dreadful will happen, the likes of which you wouldn't even see in regular dungeon. That's scary. However, I made it easy to recognize as trap. Don't activate something that looks extra suspicious, hear me? If you activate it, something dreadful and unprecedented unpre will happen. So do not activate any questionable ones. So seriously, what are you telling me to do when I find traps? Now, once more, mission start. Okay, hi, slim buddies. Oh, wait. Oh. 
I can't say I don't understand seeing a doll that would the food makes anyone to push. I didn't see a shit. And do not push button makes you want to push it even more, so that's right. But next time be a little more cautious. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, how much HP do I have? I've never paid attention to my HP. Oh my goodness. Ah, please skip. Oh, wait. How do I? Oh yes, it's D. I have to press on D. Okay, you guys maybe die. But oh, the my attack speed is just. There is no such thing as do not push or anything. Oh, this is a rough guy. Ow! Okay, then. Wait. Is that trap? Oh, yes. Got a rock, people, very white flower called Clinton Eggs. <laughs> no. Is that trap? Or just a regular rock? Like, there's no way to know where is the trap. Oh, okay, wait. Let me see all this. What's this? Oh! Oh, this is steppable track. Trap. You fucking rock or something. So. Oh shit. Wow, that's just so awesome. Like, this multiple target combat system is just what I love. Um. Uh, I thought that was just regular. I thought they were just, uh, you know, just regular bones, like bony bones, like bomb bones. Oh my god, I'm just. <sighs> Wait, is there any other way to heal myself? Okay, let's do it again. Boom. Okay, good. No, oh, that was when I'm, I forgot it. Oh, yes. This one was good. Was this one bad? Good? No, this one is bad. Hey, how dare you just... Is that mouse? I can't tell what it is. Okay. So this looks extra suspicious. Yeah. Hi, who the fuck are you? Oh! Oh! Hey, dude. Calm down. Wait, I have water sense. If you have fire... Got a beast beat Hmm. Good, you cleared it. A job well done. Let's see, did you get any claim tickets? Uh, it seems you did. Excellent, excellent. For a claim ticket, you learn three red potions. Oh, thank you. For a claim ticket, you get a silver trade. 500 real. Got a handle on dungeon traps now. If you are prepared, nothing to scare you. Keep it up in the real dungeons too. Okay, that was, uh, that was quite a trip. Know about the BP gauge. You know about the BP gauk? No. Why? Stop! Wait, hang on. Uh, well, true, I suppose I should explain. Okay, well, I'll listen and pretend I don't know. <laughs> now, BP is well loaded, it's not a skill right now. You should have it 
in Badlam, underneath your HP and MP, there is also BPS in there. Oh yeah, I remember. This right? Oh yeah. And yes. I more or less get HP and MP, but what's BP? Well, BP stands for balance points, like MP. These are necessary to use skills, without them you can't use any, so this is same as mana point, obviously not. Now, mana point and P point, balance point different, good question. Mana point is required by resting or using items, but balance point would refuse to 100 just doing nothing. Use water buff and observe. <laughs> just this splash into her face, into his face. But that's like always. Mm. Now, using water buff there consumed 4. Mana point and 8 Balance point. However, your balance point should have already go, right? Oh, yeah. If you don't use too many skills, it's not likely to go down to zero. Another difference from mana point and balance point is not increased by level dots. The standard is 100. It will return to that value if left alone and it can charge from 0 to 200. It can go above 100, yes, it, and this is the more important part. Balance point goes up when you take damage from enemies. So taking a lot of hits let me use more skills, yes, but recall that blue balance point stands for balance points. So indeed keeping balance is important. 100 is ideal for you and something bad happens if your balance point gets too much. If you keep taking continuous damage, your balance point will keep going up to until 200 and once it reaches that, it what? It causes a balance break. The enemy causes you to lose your balance and you would be stunned for a time. On top of that, your defense, agility, and resistance will all be held. So it's not good to get it too high. Right, too low and you think your skills get too high and you lose balance. Balance is important, I'm sure you get the idea. But if you take damage from enemies, you get lots of balance points to use, right? So doesn't it also give you a chance to counter precisely? It all goes well. You can reduce your balance point and even exhibit strong counter attacks while you're at it. That is, in many cases, you won't have the chance to use skills out of such a situation. Since if you're taking so much hits, you're likely to be surrounded by foes. It's a double edged sword as it's difficult to shift into counter attack. I see. Enemies have balance points in just the same way. If you attack enemies rapidly, you can make them lose their balance and lower their defenses. Sounds like even the toughest foes could go down quick like that, yes? But don't forget you're giving the enemy the opportunity to counter attack. And lastly, I will explain the connection between guarding and balance point. When you want to establish the balance point, make a good use of guarding with C. Guarding would improve the ability of your balance point to return to 100. When you have little balance point, guarding attacks will make them recover more balance point. And when you have a lot of balance point, guarding makes you gain less of it. Because balance point is looking bad. Well, right, that's it for balance point. Now for some practice. Keep attacking. Keep taking attacks until you fall victim to balance break. You have two minutes. What are those? Scarecrow? Ow, 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 before of which during battle. Exit feeder, okay. Wait, my HP? Well, that's fine. I want to put more kinds of items on display at my shop. Oh yeah, I forgot you had a shop. That's a rather sudden request, is that... Is it that pressing? I mean, four items is so few. No shop has selection that poor except mine. You're most certainly right about that. However, I should think there is anywhere in your shop you could put more items. Oh man, can't I do anything about that? If you're willing to put an effort, I suppose it's not impossible, really? Yes, but there is something you will need. Once you have it, I can upgrade the shop. I just have to bring you something, okay, what do I need? Simple money to buy shell, so that's super realistic as a so What did you expect? There is no really, no, there is really no other, yeah, you're right. So I will need about 2,000 real. Then I can give you some more items, please. Okay, I'll do my best. Now, let, let the mission begin. When you have the money, report it using the mission, but I already have 2,000 reels. Do I? Yes, I do.
It's 30 items. Isn't 30 items too few? Now that you mentioned it, indeed, 30 beef of period, but it isn't even a breakfast. And that really puts into context just how little 30 is. There's no much more room in your shop, is there? I can't. That's just a whole gym. That's just a giant warehouse. If you want to place more items, you will have to expand your shelves. So, could you work something out if I brought you the wood? Yes, I will need a little bit of stone, though. To be exact, bring me 10 tree benches and 5 tough rocks. I can do a rush job from here. From there. Gotta just wait. Let me just report in via mission bars on once you have the materials. Wait, how do I report my money with mission? Oh yes. Scrunch it up 2000 real. Yep, kiss the cake. And it over 200 real. 2000 real. Alright, I'll go buy some quality shields on the chip. Good news, I got some pretty good shields. Now you can place one more item. Just one more? Did you just buy a table or something? No, that's not even a table. Did you just buy a stool? Just one more, shadows are expensive, don't you know? Honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with myself for finding this bargain. Well, okay, this should help the shop, thanks. The shop was upgraded from 4 shadows to 5. But I don't know how much this uh, currency called real is, so it might be just like, you know, a very bad currency. Oh, wait, I need wood. To be more specific. Oh, look at this. So I just think wood might be here. Can I just cut down this tree or more like the bush? Is that all? Do you have any branches? No. Like, I remember there are some branches lying around in this beginner dungeon. But let's just take all these nuts. No, that's not, that's not. Thick book. Very thick. Just incredibly. Thick. <laughs> Could be real? Okay. E. I actually don't really want to fight with you guys because you guys are just harmless, passive, like just natural, like wild slimes. Toy ball. Oh, it's horror. Why? Well, okay, 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 so what I was, what I had in mind was this herbs, not branches, so I should leave this dungeon. Yeah, I should leave this dungeon right now. But let's defeat the boss, like, why not? Hi! Ow! Was he this easy? But this music is so just. This music is just so awesome. Hey, why am I staying here? Oh, Coastal cave, port coast. <coughs> oh, this is beach. No, there is no woods in beach. So let's try to get some stones from those little stone guys. No, dead end. Hi. Okay, I'm just out. Uh, 
<laughs> just a spam this spell. Rock. But wait. Wait, wait. I almost think that opening menu pauses the game, but it's not the case in this game. But every game does that, right? Every game does that. Except this game. Oh. Maybe I should go to the faraway continent. Yeah, there must be a better dungeons. <coughs> Hello? I didn't check this room. I told you this set is you can't start journey without this. Learn the recipe for exit feather. Graph paper, opera glasses, wind pot, mattock, net trap, material micro, grabber glow. <laughs> grabber glow. What is that? What's that? Diary or something? You can use music sheets you obtain to listen to music here. Oh, that's jukebox. Music sheets are found in a variety of places, so look around for them. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, this is the music that I found on YouTube. Oh my god, this music is just so good. But no time for that. I'm, I have to finish this mission. All ruins? Oh no. Sage escape. Can I? Third time the charm has to save. Come on, duck. Mm, okay, where do I find three branches? Or can I can I just buy it from the shop? Like that would be like ton easier. Or do I even have it? Wait, let me just see. Three branch three. What? No, but I need 10 and tough rocks 5. Let's try going to shop. Oh no, it's night. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to shop. Hey, do you happen to have some uh, rocks and tree branches in your general stuff? That would be very great, but apparently not. Am I weird to ask that? No, you are the one who is weird for not selling that. You're a bad job, the worst job I've ever seen in my entire life. Harbor market, maybe. This area looks like it's marketplace. It figures support. Town has lots of goods if only there were this many choices at my village. And the fish is a lot cheaper than it's back home. I will take a look around here. Uh, items are cheaper in the marketplace than in shops, but note that stalls and items are charged daily. I changed daily. Stop to see Chrome Riot, Rapid Job, Rules, and Love Shop, Smash Shop. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Never let's search this beach. Oh. Hi jellyfish, jelly jelly, octopus jelly, jelly puss. Ow. Oh, this is real jelly. Is that rock? No, that's not pick up a block. That's just a fish. It's stranded on the uh, beach. Seashell. Ow. Shells, fucking sand. Oh, 
What is that? A coral. Oh yes. Thank you. I'm sorry bro. Okay, never mind. I was about to say that he doesn't have any more future depth. Oh, yes, I have five triplums now, and I need more. Where is the? Oh, yeah, here it is. Got a rock. Wait, hang on. I need to open my menu, guys. Can you stop? Chasing me around. I don't think I can see my missions from the menu. Got Tophra. Oh, that's a Tophra. Ah, why that's just really rare. Like all those other rocks are not tough, and only that rock is tough. What kind of world is this? Oh, need to change. My favorite food. Rock, rock. Okay, this area is clear. Hi. Come on, let me just get by. Let me just pass by. I just wanna get by and pass by you. And we're all here to get by. Sweet food knife. Recipe. Recipe. Freddy? What is that? That looks like a stick. Got a shell. There's the dirt. Opera glasses. There's more. Three branches. Hi, Mr. Skateboard. Wait, there is no way to go. Okay. Okay, this area is clear. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of things that I couldn't read. Hmm. So those are oh yes, the tough rock. I have four tough rock already. Oh, okay, just need one more. Also, a lot more three branches. Why that's so? Just you could just break. Like, go around and break some tree's branch. But that would be a ton easier than finding a branches in chest. And who the f who would put three branches in chest and hide it in dungeon? Oh, hi. No, I'm... I'm... Be Ooh. Oh god, you're the boss. I'm being asshole, I'm splooshing water against something that looks like the entire way out of water. No. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, I have to drink my potion, please. No, wrong guy. Did you guys notice that the pentagram when he casts spell? Can 
you try to use analyze? Okay, this is bad, this is really bad. The worst thing a man can ever do in this entire map. Hmm. Wow, hey, that's bad, that's all. Oh, oh. Just chug all this blue red fruit. Hmm. Okay, hang on, hang on, that's really broke off. That's just merciless. You, you fucking brute. Oh yes. And I didn't get any tree branches out of this. Like I can't find any tree branches. Like, this is a very weird world. Where the tree is just as scarce as fuck. Oh, look at that, there's a tree branch. Okay, two more left. Oh, yes, bless me! Bless me! Bless me! Okay, bye bye. I'm not gonna fuck with this because I have so low HP. Oh, fuck. Finally, oh god, oh jeez. Nah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was oh, mm. that was hard. Let me first turn all this nice red fruits into potions and sell them. How about the uh, refresh herbs? I don't have enough Shamiya grass. Uh huh. How about the. Uh, how about nothing else? How about some bread? Oh no, I need the. the puddings. Oh! Huh? Oh wait, I need milk. So, let's finish the mission. I have all of that. Ah, uh, seems you got the materials after a long trip through dungeons after dungeons after dungeons. Yep, I managed. I need over 10 tree branches and 5 tough rocks. How to build onto these shells? That's not dilly dally. Now to. Phew, we're done. A job well done, if I do say so myself. Now you can. Stock greater quantity of items, shelf capacity increases from 30 to 40. Still only 40, huh? Considering the space you have to work with, going any higher will be a challenge. You will have to put it up. You will have to put up with it for now. Well, this should help a little, anyways. I'll keep expanding it one step at a time. Ah, finally. Oh. Also, there is. Here's it. Me to reach level 7. Am I level 7? Status. I'm level 11. Alchemy level 7. Forge. I've never forged anything. Let's just check what I can forge. I can do this rotten wood stuff. But I have 3 rotten wood stuff. Like 2 wood club. Wind cutter. What is this? Wind class. Vine bow. That sounds interesting. Oh wait, I thought a toy bow. There was just just a pile of toy bows in the beginner areas. Okay, let's end this episode right here, guys. That was a very long journey. Ooh. But anyways, thank you guys so much. My God, no, my camera. When did it tilt it like this? No. How long has it been like this? Oh my god. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.